this section is the natural logarithmic function, integration. So the theorem is the log rule for integration. So it says, let u be differentiable function of x, then the integral of 1 over x dx is ln of absolute value of x plus c. Or if you have 1 over u, where u is a, is a um, function of x, and then du is the derivative of that. Um, another way to write it is du over u or dx over x. You get the ln of that u function, absolute value of that u function plus c. The only time you don't need the absolute value function is if this is going to be positive no matter what x is, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at example one. So um, we take the denominator. The denominator is one more power or one more degree than the numerator. So we're gonna let u equal x minus eight then that means that du would be 1 dx or just dx. So since I don't have this 4 in here at all, I can take the 4 out as a constant multiplier and then put the dx in the numerator instead of 1 dx in the numerator. And so then if I do the substitution, I have this 4 here. dx is nothing more than du and x minus 8 is nothing more than u. And we know that the rule says that it's going to come out to be the ln of u plus c. Now we have to back sub. What is u? u is x minus 8. Now here we do need the absolute value bars because x minus 8 is not always a positive value. If x is um, anything less than than one than eight, then this will be a negative number. So we do have to keep the absolute value bars on this expression. Now, example two is a little bit more complicated. Okay, see here, your degree is higher in the numerator than it is in the denominator. So in this case, you might actually have to divide and simplify this before you begin the problem. So if we perform long division, and this is going to all be my side work over here. Um, x goes into x squared x times, x times x is x squared, x times three is three x, and then I'm going to change the signs like subtracting these terms. So minus, this will become plus, x squared minus x squared cancels. 5x plus 3x is 8x, and I'm gonna bring down the next term. Then, um, okay, so then um, x goes on to 8x, a positive eight times. Positive eight times x is positive eight x. Positive eight times negative three is negative 24. Then we subtract, this will become positive. So these will cancel and you'll get um, 19 here. So then when we rewrite this, we write the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. So in our case, the quotient is this up here, this is the remainder, and this is the divisor. So what we get is x plus eight plus 19 over x minus three. So this integral up here can be rewritten as x plus eight plus 19 over x minus three. And since there are three terms now, we can separate this integral into its three separate integrals. And the first two terms are easy to integrate you get x squared over two plus eight x plus something plus c. Um, the two c's from this and the c from this in expression will just be one big fat plus c at the end. However, this looks a lot like what we had up here. So the 19 will need to come to the front and then we'll just have dx on top of x minus three and similarly, we can use u substitution. So u would be x minus three. 
du would just be dx. So if we substitute we get the integral of du over u and this plus c I'm just going to rewrite it here um, and then if I integrate that I get 19 ln of the absolute value of u plus c and this c but just makes one big fat c now we do have to back sub what is u So u was x minus 3. And again, this expression here is not positive for every x. So we must leave the absolute value bars there. So we end up with this expression here as our final answer.